Hey guys, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to restore a previous version of FL Studio onto a new computer completely offline. So let's say you have an old version of FL from like the 2000s and you lost your registration key, but you still have your old computer and the old FL on that computer. Go ahead and open up that computer and we're gonna fire up the registry. Um, so that we can hack into the old version of FL and steal its serial keys. So on Windows 8 and up, you can just search for registry and it'll bring it up. And on Windows 7, you have to search for regedit. Okay, and so now that we're here, we gotta find the FL Studio serial number. So we'll open up current user, uh, look for software, and then image line should be somewhere in here. And then registrations. And if your image line isn't in here, you can go back out and look in local machine uh, in software or look in H key users. Um, and it might be in one of those. So now that we're at the image line folder, uh, look in registrations and that should pretty much just give you your serial number right out of the box there. So copy that down somewhere. You can right click on the FL Studio box serial, uh, click modify, and then you can copy and paste that number. By the way, if you've had a username or a password that you logged in with instead, it'll just give you that here instead of a serial. So now you can use that instead, but I only have a serial for my version. Uh, make a new text folder on your desktop and go ahead and throw this serial number into that text folder, so. Uh, we do need some more numbers to make this work, because this alone won't get us into FL without an internet connection. Uh, if you've already registered this box serial online with ImageLine, it won't let you do it again. And if you're like me, the account you registered, it was years ago, maybe you forgot the password, and you just need to get FL onto a new computer without an internet connection. So depending on which version of FL you have, uh, your folders in here are going to look a bit different. So since I have FL10, these are the different folders that I have inside of the registrations folder. And so here I have this direct wave downloader, and then the FL10 folder. Take a screenshot of this section here because you need to make your new computer registry look identical uh, for this to trick FL into opening without registering your key online. So now that you've copied that registration key from this folder, uh, you're gonna wanna look at all of your other folders to see if they have any registration keys. So the direct wave, it doesn't, but downloader does, and so does FL10. You might have different folders, but just for each one of those folders, uh, copy down that serial number into your text document here. Uh, and, and mine are all under the IL reg key, so I'll copy those to my document. And then once you have that, just go ahead and copy this document over to your new computer. Um, you can email it to yourself, or you can copy it onto a flash drive, or your phone, or whatever. And then go ahead and hop over to your new computer. Okay, now we're on the new computer, um, and we're gonna pull up that text document. And on this computer, uh, we have the demo version of FL. So we see we booted it up, it's got demo. Uh, has information about registering, we won't be able to save anything. So this, this is the demo version. We're gonna open up that text document that has our serial number in it, and we're gonna go back to the registry. Remember, it's registry if you're on Windows 8 and 10, otherwise it's regedit. And on this computer, your folders might be different, so first check the current user for software, and then image line, but if that's not there, then look in local machine software, look for image line, and then check H key users. So I had FL10 on my old computer, my new computer also has FL10. Don't be trying to upgrade your FL Studio in the process. It won't work because they want you to register your FL Studio serial number to upgrade, and that won't work if you've already registered your key. Uh, down below, I've linked every old version of FL Studio that I could find. Um, 
so your versions have to match. If you have 9, find FL9 in the versions below. And then we're going to look in the registrations folder again. And this time, because we have the demo version, uh, you might have some missing folders in here. We'll have to create those folders real quick. And it should only be a couple. Most of the folders FL will auto-generate once we plug in our serial number. And we just want the folders that actually have serial keys inside of them. So for me, it was just the downloader folder and then the FL Studio 10 folder. Um, and since I already have those, um, I'm just going to pop in my downloader key into here and then for FL10 um, I'll plug it into this one. If you don't have those folders, uh, you're going to right click on your registrations and click on new key. And then you're going to have to name it exactly the same. So if you had a downloader folder, you're going to have to name it downloader the, exactly the way it's written. And same with FL Studio 10. Um, since I don't have any new folders, I'm going to get rid of that. This is where it would be really helpful if you had that screenshot. Um, then you can see exactly what folders you need. And then once you have your folders, you can go to each one of these keys, right click, modify, and then you're just popping in that number into the value data here. Uh, so you can just copy and paste into there. Um, and for these, if you don't have the image line reg key, you're going to right click new string value, and then you have to name it I L reg key uh, with capital I, capital L capital R and capital K. So it's got to be image line reg key. And then pop in your serials there. Uh, and then the last thing, this is the most important, uh, jump to your registrations folder. And here we, we should have empty serial uh, folders. And if you don't, uh, just the same thing, create a new string value. You're going to call it FL Studio Box Serial. Um, and that's the only one that you actually need. So go ahead and modify that and plug in your serial number there. And just like that, no reboot necessary, we now have the full producer version of FL Studio from our old computer. And that's all there is to it. You can save, load old songs, everything's working, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I hope this helped you out, and good luck producing music.